one of the biggest mistakes big companies make, and maybe smaller companies as well, is they look at succession about the person. She should replace me. He should replace me. That's the wrong place to start. The place you start is to say, look at the pathway I'm on in my industry. Look at my customers, my products, my services. Where do I think that pathway is going to go? Is it going to go global? Is it going to go domestic? Is it going to go from product to service? What's that pathway look like? Could I get a few people with me? And if you have an advisory board, that's often the role of an advisory board or a few consultants to say, what do I think my industry or my niche is going to be like in three months, six months, 12 months, or 24 months? And again, I'd love to go out three to four years, but nobody probably knows. What's the pathway to success in the future? Then what set of skills are going to be required? Technical skills, social skills, functional skills. What's it going to take this company to win in that anticipated pathway? And then to say, now, which people, A, B, or C, seem to have that set of skills? And so you don't start by saying, uh, uh, Jasmine or Sally or Mohammed is my successor. You start by saying, what are the conditions of success? And then which individual might best meet that skill set? 